Welcome back everyone. Today we are going to be going over how to find the equation of a parabola using the focal width. Today we're specifically going to do an example of a parabola that opens leftward, but I do also have examples for rightward, upward, and downward as well. Uh, okay, so for this one here, because it opens to the left or right rather than up or down, we would use this general equation, y minus k squared is equal to 4p times x minus h, whereas if it were upwards or downwards, then x and y would be swapped here. Uh, now, h and k, keep in mind, they just represent the vertex. And then we also need to find the p value. So if we can find h, k, and p, and then plug those in and simplify, then we're good to go. That's the name of the game here. So how can we find the vertex? Well, to find the x-coordinate of the vertex, we can find the average of the x values from where our focal width is. So in this case, it's going to be 9 plus 9 divided by 2, which is 18 divided by 2, which is 9. Then we have k, which the k value is going to be negative 3 plus 15 divided by 2, so the average of negative 3 and 15. That's going to be 12 divided by 2, which is 6. So therefore, h is 9 and k is 6. So the vertex is 9, 6 so far. Uh, next, we need to find the p-value. So first, we need to find the distance of the focal width, like the vertical distance specifically. So that is going to be 15 minus negative 3 is going to be our focal width. So that's going to be 18. We also know that the focal width is equal to 4 times the absolute value of P. So 4 times the absolute value of P would have to be um, 18. Then if we divide both sides by 4, we get that the absolute value of P is 4.5 or 9 over 2. Uh, now, in this case, because it opens leftward, we only actually consider the negative value. If we just took absolute value of p equals 4.5 at face value, we'd say there's two possible answers. It could be 4.5 or negative 4.5. If it was rightward, we would only consider positive 4.5. But because it's leftward, the answer is actually just going to be negative 4.5. So negative 4.5 is our p value in this case. Okay, so now we found all our values. All we need to do left is we just need to plug those values into our original expression. So y minus k, which is y minus 6 squared, is equal to 4 times negative 4.5, which is going to be negative 18 times x minus h, so x minus 9 like that. And there we go. There's our final answer. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave those down in the comment section, and we'll see you for the next one.